All right, what's up guys? So right now we have the Innova 7111 scan tool. As you could see, uh, it's have it charging right now currently. We're at 82%. So we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi, for example. We're gonna go to the three tabs, settings. Then you scroll down here. And we're gonna go to Wi-Fi settings, for example. If you're if you haven't not connected your uh, device to the Wi-Fi, you would go to Wi-Fi settings, click your Wi-Fi network, uh, input your password, and then once it accepts it, uh, you're connected. You're gonna go back through the three tabs up top, go to home. For example, if you, you would go to home if you were connected to the vehicle currently. Currently, I'm in my room. We're gonna go to history, and this is the last vehicle I touched, which would be a 2002 Trailblazer. We're gonna click that file. And once you have um, connected to the Wi-Fi, um, this would be the as if you had connected to the vehicle currently, but it's just a saved memory. And once you already clicked it, it gives you more info. For example, on scheduled maintenance and predicted failures, scheduled maintenance, um, depending on if the vehicle accepts the VIN and gives the um, scanner its own mileage, or you may have to manually input it. It gives you a, um, some suggestions as to what to do. So uh, next service would be at some 170K. You would load the chassis. It gives you a, a part and a cost, for example, for the part. Same for oil. We're gonna go back to overview. And I, I did this earlier, but you would go to um, predicted failures. And then it tells you what would be your uh, retailer of choice. I put Amazon, just since it, Amazon is very readily available, everyone uses Amazon most than likely. I put Amazon and then I assume that's where basis off parts, uh, costs and all that off Amazon and gives you a link to them. So for example, right here we clicked on uh, predicted failures and it actually gives you what would possibly go wrong, which I believe is actually true on these trailblazers. Replace ignition coils and spark plugs, cooling fan wiring harness, evap perch solenoid, camshaft position sensor. This one, three ironically, have already been done to the vehicle in the past six years when I first got the vehicle. The spark plugs I did, the perch valve gave me an issue last year, and the camshaft position sensor I replaced when I first got the truck. And then it gives you the price, I assume parts and labor possibly. Um, which I believe predict failures to be actually very accurate in this point. Not just coincidence that I like have already done them or they've given me issue. But judging by this, this is more than likely accurate for most vehicles. I'm going to go to the next tab, TSP and recalls. You can see here we have NHTSA recalls, accessory and fluid, TSBs. TSB is technical service bulletin. So it gives you a range of what um, several categories have TSBs or recalls in, then you would click the arrow and uh, it would give you a more, um, again, better explanation as to what that is. So for example, we're just gonna click here, uh, buy parts. It's gonna open up a page and bam, gives us a uh, option to sign into our Amazon account. And it gives us the part that we will need, in this case, a uh, oil. So you could press X there and X it. Same for here, the super loop, which would be grease to grease up the suspension. And there we go, as you could see, it gives us the option to buy online, which is really neat because you could order stuff from here inside the vehicle if you were connected to it. And if not, you would save the file how I currently have, which it saves it automatically. And then it saves it on there. And then once you go back to your service bay or your lunch, or where you sit down, you could order parts as needed and it would rec uh, remind you. Although it's not uh, available where you could note down stuff here, but of course you could note that down on a clipboard or on your uh, service advisor paperwork. And then we're gonna go to home again. And these would obviously give you more info once you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Currently I'm not connected to the vehicle, so I can't use these. But just right off the bat, you going through the history, connecting to the internet, uh, gives you a wide range of more options to play around with. And same thing for here. At 
the very end, uh, once you connect to Wi-Fi, you have the ability to check for updates. I'm gonna click that right there. And it says no updates available. There are no updates available at this time, which is good. It means we've already been uh, upgraded to the most latest and greatest software by Nova. As it came already packaged. And that's it. That's a brief overview of how to connect to the Wi-Fi, how to check for updates. And what, connect, what connecting to Wi-Fi gives you more options to on a stored file. But I assume it will give you more options once connected to the vehicle. So thank you very much for watching this review.